said he didn't didn't have any mongrel. Do you uh, still still agree with that? No, he did in a few phases. He did in some sense, but um, no, it was good. A tough fight. I expected that. Um, you know, and thank you for bringing and thank you to him for bringing it out of me. I need 10, 10 hard rounds for what I want to move on to. Um, I plan on going to America, taking the big names. I want the big fights, the world champions, the former world champions, and um, I think I need 10 rounds under my belt. I'm still not necessarily inexperienced, but I've had a limited amount of fights, so I need the rounds. You fought Southpaw for a lot of the fights. Tell me about that. Mate, there's no reason there. Some people might say, did you hurt your hand or you're not as good as Southpaw, but I like to try and error it. I feel like he found it a bit more awkward than Orthodox, so I stayed there. If he couldn't capitalise on it, I would stay there. Um, I probably wasn't as powerful, but I felt more accurate, and to me, that's more important. George Cambosis, tell me, tell me why you like that fight. Man, I want the fight. You know, he, he didn't mind calling me. He, he didn't mind saying uh, George, uh, he didn't mind saying Jackson was a, the number one super featherweight a few weeks back. So, you know, a little bite back of that. I'll prove I'm the number one, and um, you know, it's his big brother. Let's get big Georgie. How important were those body shots in there tonight? Mate, he got me with a few as well, but um, then I thought, fuck, I better go to mine. And, um, you know, I did hurt him a few times, but he's a very slippery customer. Slipping, moving, ducking and weaving. But, um, you know, they, they can't get the camera used. How did you sort of score the fight? Did you know you had the fight in the bag in the end? Um, I knew I had it in the bag, yeah, but there was a few rounds that were pretty close. Some he might have got away with. But that's boxing. There's 10 rounds to come back and capitalise. And I, I knew my heart. And um, honestly, I thought of my kids at the midway point in the fight. I thought, fuck, they're in the crowd. I'm thinking of them. You know, they're watching Dad. They're watching Dad, their superhero fight. I would win for them. How do you feel that you match up with Cambosis? How do you think a fight with Cambosis goes if that, if that is the next fight Mate, or potential future? Look, he, he's, a, he's a speed guy. I'm the power guy. I could go up to lightweight and I'll probably still be bigger than him. I'm, I'll be comfortable there. Um, and I'm, I'm saying I'll, I'll move up to fight him. So I'm giving away something to, I'm giving away something to go up and fight him. I want it. I want it. Would you be looking to get rid of him early or would you want to drag him out into a war? I want to drag him out to a war and put on a good fight for the Australian public. I think the Australia hasn't seen all the Australian showdown for a, a decent amount of years since Tim Zhu and uh, Dennis Hogan or Jeff Horn. So, you know, a decent one. And um, I think that would be a decent one. I think, I'm a, I think I was a, I'm a somewhat former world champion in a sense. I did beat Navarrete and he's a former world champion. So it makes sense to make the fight and that's put a big fight on for the Australian public. Talk of the uh, Cambosis Lomachenko fight. How do you see that fight going? Uh, I, I reckon Lomachenko uses his head as a speedball. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Thank you, mate. Thanks.